My name's Andy Dunn. I'm the Assistant Grazing Manager for Northwood Wildlife Trust. We currently breed with uh, Shetlands and Black Welsh Mountain. We've got about 500, that's including the ewe lambs from last year. To take care of the sheep flock, we've got an in-house shepherd whose responsibility is solely the management and, and daily care of the sheep flock. And then myself and the grazing manager, the rest of the grazing team, will um, help her out in anything that she needs help with regarding that. Particularly during lambing, the, the process is really just to make sure that there are eyes on the, on the sheep 100% uh, of the time. We've got a couple of compartments here where we let them lamb naturally and then once they've had time to bond with the lambs we bring them into a pen, keep an eye on them some more and then from there they move out onto uh, another pen for some grazing and then they're turned out onto a further site just to keep the lambing field clear. We've had about 150 lambs so far this lambing year but still some more to come. They tend to stay with the mothers until about September time where they'll be weaned We'll tend to keep them as a separate flock over the winter, just to keep an eye on them for any issues that might arise, uh, but also to give them the, the better grazing to see them through the winter to make sure they've got the best start for the spring ahead. Our own native breeds, particularly Shetlands and Black Welsh, tend to be a lot more used to the, the low quality soils that we're having them graze on, particularly in the, in the Brecks. They do a good job and can survive year round, whereas European breeds or some of our native lowland breeds wouldn't necessarily cope on soils like this. So they particularly suit the Brecklands quite well. It's an unpredictable habitat in that respect. You can get very hot summers with bleaching of the grass and little to no grazing in the summer. Um, so we graze them for their, for their hardiness on this ground. So the way the sheep graze, they tend to, to graze quite low and quite tight into almost a lawn-like um, effect. It's quite close to the way that rabbits graze. Um, rabbit grazing really is the ideal height and method of grazing in the Brex, but since that's not necessarily suitable, the sheep provide a very, very close contrast to that. A lot of the sites that we graze sheep on require a low sward height for breeding birds or particular flora to come up and have the best chance, and so the method in which they graze, uh, again, pretty much suits that. They can target flowering plants or flowering bodies, so uh, the timing and the, the level of uh, attention we pay to actually where they're grazing and at what time of the year is quite important and so again the shepherd's role there is, is quite key to liaising with the reserve teams and the grazing managers to make sure that they, they oversee that and that the sites get the best grazing they can from the sheep. In commercial sheep farming the, the, the press really is to have a, a productive breed for meat purposes. With a lot of our native breeds now on their own, they don't necessarily um, offer that. So in keeping those breeds, we're keeping those breeds alive and, and maintaining some genetic diversity, which if it's ever needed in the commercial sheep farming perspective, it's, uh, it's good to have that genetic backup as well. 